When you start to look at your life and your goals in less absolutes or all or nothing thinking, you open yourself up to so much more because you'll be able to spot more opportunities that you would otherwise not been able to see. And you'll also be more self-aware, which will help you stay motivated. Oh, and can you do me a favor? Please put your shopping carts back in the rack. Y'all stay tuned. Salute! And welcome back to Unknown Soldier Radio. This is a chopper! And I'm Dog Tags. Oh, you want to be a soldier? Yeah! If something is out of place, then that means it's not where it's supposed to be. And if that particular thing that's out of place is not where it's supposed to be, then that means it's out of order. And when there's no order, because something is out of place and it's not where it's supposed to be, that gives the opportunity for chaos to reign supreme. And since chaos stems from confusion and God is not the author of confusion, that means that he is not there. And if God is not there, then who is? You can't make this shit up. See, something as simple as returning a shopping cart after you've used it to satisfy your personal needs is the ultimate litmus test because it determines whether a person is capable of self-governing. Dog tags, why in the hell are you talking about shopping carts? You can't make this shit up. Well, the reason we're talking about shopping carts is because for one, shopping carts were invented in 1937 and it has given us over a hundred years to study not just what people do, but why they do it. And it's not so much the madness, it's the method behind the madness. And this anthropological study of ourselves tends to reveal our animalistic nature as humans, therefore encapsulates itself in the study of ethology. See, as easy as it may seem, or not, to take something from where it was out of its place of order and to return that thing back to its place of order seems subjectively easy. But for some, this is not the case because in the study of shopping cardiology, yes, I just made that word up. You can't make this shit up. There's an underground cast system in the parking lot. <laughs> and the cast system consists of the returners, the never returners, the convenient returners, the pressure returners, and the child driven returners. You can't make this shit up. The returners, you know, like you and I, are the people who always return their shopping carts to the shopping cart rack. And then the never returners will be the people who obviously, they never return their shopping cart to the shopping cart rack, no matter how far or close they are to the shopping cart rack. And then thirdly, brings us to the convenient returners. Now, these are the people who will return their carts only if they're parked close to the shopping cart rack or if they see the cart attendant. And next are the pressure returners. These are the people that will return their carts only if the shopping cart attendant is present as well as if the car parked adjacent to them is present, which means they don't have an easy avenue for abandoning their carts. And the fifth shopping cart returner, 
underneath the cash system of underground shopping cartology are the child driven returners. Now these are the people with children who are riding them in the shopping carts and they view it as a game to return their child to the shopping cart rack. And why is this cash system so important underneath the cash system of underground shopping cartology? Well, because now this introduces us to the science behind social norms and underneath social norms you have two factors you have the injunctive which are responses based on perception and how people view our actions and then you have descriptive which mimics behavior based on our senses based on what we see what we hear or what we smell Therefore, the shopping cart represents itself as the apex example of whether a person will do what is right without being forced to do it. I mean, no one's going to punish you for not returning the shopping cart. No one's going to put a gun in your head for not returning the shopping cart. I mean, you gain nothing by returning the shopping cart, but you must return the shopping cart only out of the goodness of your own heart. See, a person who is unable or better yet unwilling to return the shopping cart back to its rightful place, back to its place of order, is no better than an animal or better yet might be compared to a savage because you have to be coerced and threatened by violence and law and the force that stands behind it. You can't make this shit up. Give me the president. We could be looking at full scale Armageddon. Salute! From dog tags. And remember, put your damn shopping cart up. You can't make this shit up.